In this segment we've got a patio door which is set into a frame and both are showing quite bad rot in the bottom corners. In this segment on replacing rotted door wood I put a new piece of wood into the bottom corner so have a look at that movie to see how to replace sections of wood. In this segment I'm going to use a different technique. I'm going to remove the rotten wood and fill the resulting hole with filler material. Step one is to remove the rotted wood a chisel works well in this case. With a few taps of the rubber mallet, the rotten section comes away quite easily. I prefer to use the rubber mallet as it does the job quietly. A hammer would make a jarring metallic noise and I like to retain some sort of harmony when doing this work. In this corner the wood rod is about an inch and a half deep, going right down to the joint of the cross piece. A little digging and scraping and eventually you'll get all the rot out and expose the healthy wood below. Once you're satisfied that all of the rotted wood has been removed, you can prepare the filler. I'm using Bondo, which is a two-part filler, consisting of the filler material and a catalyst. When the two parts are mixed together, a chemical reaction occurs, which hardens the material. I've found an old half tile, which is perfect to mix the filler and catalyst and I'm using a paint scraper to do the actual mixing. The mixing instructions are on the container and you've got about 15 minutes to work with the filler before it begins to harden. Once it does begin to harden it's best not to try to apply it. There are other fillers which dry through evaporation. In other words as the moisture evaporates from the material it dries and hardens. While these are good fillers, they can take days to dry, especially in winter or in humid conditions, or when you apply a thick layer. You want your filler to harden quickly. A chemical filler will be hard enough to sand in about 45 minutes, so that's what determined my choice. This is the first time that I've done the job using this type of filler, and I found it awkward to keep control of the material. It took some practice before I was able to get it to go where I wanted it to be. Nothing to do with the product, just a little learning curve, and practice does the trick. The size of the applicator that you use is very important. Eventually, I opted for a plastic shim to use to apply the filler, and this worked quite well. It was just the right size. This filler dries very hard, and can be sanded and painted when it's dry. I'd suggest a small power sander and a 100 grit sandpaper for the sanding job. The filler dries so hard that my hand sanding block struggled to smooth the surface even though I was using a 60 grit sandpaper. Painting can be done immediately to finish the job. So that was pretty easy. Clean out the rotted wood, fill the hole, sand it smooth and give it a coat of paint. The cost involved was about $20 for the filler, scraper and a few other small items and it took about two hours. It's given a very nice patio door another 10 years of life at a price that's a fraction of the replacement cost. <laughs>